Hello everyone, this week on Fireside Cinema we sit down with Eddie Sternberg who's a writer, director and recently produced I Used To Be Famous. Eddie is also a founder of Superplex Pictures which we will be talking about later but in the meantime here's a clip of his work and I hope you enjoy the interview. Hello, Vince Denham speaking. So listen, you've got the EP, that's, that's great. Listen, Psycho all over it, they're going to snap it up for sure, so you need to get your finger out on this, yeah? But, you got to put the phone down. Mum, put the phone down! Hi, love. Vinny D from Boys Inc, really. I've got my new uh, EP in it. Have a little listen, maybe. Did you shoot yourself in a flashing the walls? Uh, have a minute. <laughs> Wait, delete that. Seriously, I can't be seen to be looking like that. Because you look pathetic. You shit then, you shit now. Let's finish the track. Eddie, thank you very much for coming in and see us. Pleasure. Seeing us, we uh, absolutely loved. Uh, I used to be famous. It's a really good, just brilliant story about the power of music. Thank I you guess, very much. In, the, in film, loved it. Tell us about the funding um, strategy you used for this, because I know you explored a, a couple of options. Yeah, no doubt. So uh, half half of uh, the the budget was from the Film London scheme, uh, and we needed to raise another. You know. Uh, like five, six thousand um, pounds. So Chris, uh, again, uh, producer, came up with the idea. Uh, I don't know whether he, he he knew someone who'd done this before or whether he came up with it, but it was basically to pre-sell uh, tickets to a premiere. Um, so rather than kind of kickstart it, uh, it, it's kind of like a Kickstarter because you're essentially asking your family and friends yeah. uh, to contribute. But it's and and I guess in Kickstarter you give back certain yeah. things. And you say you can come to the premiere in Kickstarter. It's yeah. just a way of going straight. straight that, that's it. it. We just went straight to it. And we kind of thought, you know, we hadn't done a Kickstarter yet. We thought maybe in the future with regards to a potential feature or something. We just thought we'd give this a go, not to do the Kickstarter thing. And uh, so what we did was we, we spoke to Saul, who um, uh, is a part of an amazing band called The Autistics, uh, which is a band of, uh, of, of rockers who, um, uh, where the majority of the members have autism. Um, and we thought if we could team up with them uh, and they put on a concert, uh, we show our film and there's also another documentary about them which is awesome called um, Autism Rocks. Uh, we thought we can make it just put on an amazing evening uh, and make people just really, you know, really feel like their money was justified, not just yeah. to help make the film but also just an amazing evening and so it was it was it was awesome it was i really bet it was great. a great night it, yeah but it was great it was just the whole thing was also we also showed our previous film uh just desserts which was um written by uh adam baruch and michael yanni and directed by michael yanni um and that uh that was it just kind of made the whole thing just a super kind of like full event and just awesome basically um tell us a bit about out of body because i really like that a short that you made with tr of through Transport for London or with funding from them. Can you tell us a bit about that? Okay, so uh, we, so I run Superplex Pictures with Adinburgh um, and we do a lot of kind of commercial work, um, which is our bread and butter. And we had this you know, amazing client of Transport for London uh, who were just awesome. They just allowed us to make a film that young people would really, you know, ho hopefully want to watch where it's based on, you know, relatable characters and you know, kind of in the vein of stuff that they would watch on, on TV, kind of on the form like Youngers or like Top Boy or, you know, something like that is this kind of urban film uh, that, that we're just really, really proud of. And mm -hmm. we're really lucky that a client allowed us to make something that not only had a life at um, these, their events, which are Safe Drive, yeah. Stay Alive events, um, and also at film festivals where it can reach a right, wider audience. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's essentially a road awareness piece, but because they allowed us to kind of, you know, really spend some time on the characters and yeah. uh, you know all the messages kind of came through in a lot we feel in a stronger way than if it was just something kind of a bit preachy. So one of the things that I've always been curious about is how important film festivals are and what's ultimately like the return on investment mm -hmm. from taking your film to all these film festivals. It's, it's an interesting one I guess I'm, st I, I'm still kind of learning myself I mean I, when we released Out of Body um, my first short I mean I, I had no idea about all this kind of stuff um, and after we learned a lot of lessons from that which helped us with, the, with this one but I think in t there's, there's a lot of great festivals out there and there are a lot of 
festivals that you know that some people w would say are a little bit of a, a scam um i would say you just do your research on the festivals uh you know see which ones uh, are, are suited best suited to your film and then the investment is like absolutely amazing you know so like you know we spent a bit of money on i used to be famous and luckily we, we won a couple of awards at plymouth film festival the other day so the money that you get from that those awards has kind of paid for a lot of our festival outgoings uh, and kind of, although we're really just tempted just to like, just spend it all on some more festivals. So it can be an amazing investment if you're yeah. clever with it. Um, but in terms of just festivals in general, um, whether or not you kind of spend money on them, I think they're absolutely essential. You know, you go to like London Short Film Festival, East End Film Festival, you know, London Film Festival, I mean, I can name all of them. Yeah. Um, we're going out to Emden, uh, Norderney in a couple of weeks, which is this amazing festival in, in Germany. Um, first, you can have an amazing time, um, but you can just meet some great filmmakers, the programmers, are, you know, as well, um, which can be awesome. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, it's, it's worth it if you're kind of smart, smart, with, smart with it. Yeah.